Up your audio game with these speaker phones, but which one's better? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out two different speaker phones. This is the E-Meet Luna, and this is the InnoTrick Studio, and they're both Bluetooth speaker phones, which means you can use them wirelessly with your computer or your smartphone or any other device. You can use them as speakers, but of course it's the microphone feature that really makes it a winner. And they're intended to be on a table either with just yourself or possibly with multiple people around the table like a conference table. So there's a couple of things we need to look at. Number one is how well do they reproduce sound? Do they actually sound good? And then how well do they pick up audio? And I'm going to demo both of those. But let me start by giving you some specs. And let's start with this. This is the InnoTrick Studio and it has 360 degree voice pickup, which is super important. And then the microphone system has noise cancellation and voice enhancement. We're going to test that. And USB-A option. So one really cool feature this has is it has a really long wire. So you can use it as a wired microphone if you prefer. Or if you want to just stick with that Bluetooth functionality, just coil this back up on the bottom and tuck in the USB plug and you're good to go. Now, I will note that the buttons are a little bit awkward on this, particularly the power button is tucked underneath that curb, so it's a little awkward to get to, but it has lots of great indicator lights, and on the front and on the top are four buttons. One is mute or non-mute, volume up, volume down, and Bluetooth. Simple, straightforward functionality. Eight to 10 hours of battery life on a charge. You charge it through the built-in cable, easy enough. It is full duplex, so you can talk while someone else is talking. And yeah, you'll step on each other, but it won't cut out like an old walkie-talkie or something. Now, one of the things to notice on this is that there's no answer or hang-up button. So this really is a separate speaker, but from a sort of the perspective of if you get a lot of calls and you want to be able to jump on and off of them, this does not necessarily have that functionality. So let's start with a demo of this and then we'll switch to the E-Meet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just play some music and that's full volume. And I know you probably can't hear too accurately. I can't pause or play or anything from there, so I'll have to do that from my phone. And I'm using an iPhone 14 Pro, if you're curious. But the thing that I noticed about this is that there's no bass at all. Now, that's fine as a voice device, because when we speak, we don't tend to get down to like 75 hertz or anything like that. So there's sort of a lot of mid-range and not much else there. But as we'll see with the E-Meet, it actually does a nice job with overall music reproduction. So something to consider. Now, having that there, let's go ahead and I'm going to go into the voice recorder. And I'm going to record my voice on this device from what I think is probably a pretty typical distance on a conference room. And... What you're hearing now is you're hearing my voice as picked up by the InnoTrick Studio. So this is what someone on the other end of a phone call would hear. Now, what I also want to do is I also want to put in some background noise. So I have this setup here where I have factory sound. So this is going to be the equivalent of a noisy conference room. So I'm going to turn that on. And now I'm going to keep talking and we're going to find out, does the InnoTrick actually have the ability to remove background noise while I'm talking? You can tell because you can hear it. So, great. Let me stop all this. And now you can hear all that factory noise because I'm back to my microphone. And yeah, it's kind of annoying. That'd be a tough environment for a speakerphone. But we're going to pause that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the E-Meet Luna. Now, before I do that, let me just uh, tell you, I'm going to switch here in Bluetooth, disconnect that one, connect that one. There we go. And before I go further, let me tell you that this is 
4.7 inches by 4.7 inches by 1.5 inches by 8.2 ounces. So it is light, it is easy to work with. Uh, kind of wish this tucked in a little more neatly, but overall, there's definitely a lot to like here, and I really liked the shaped buttons because that makes it really easy if you have some visual challenges. And frankly, buttons that are the same color on a background are hard to see. So, now, the other one we're looking at is the E-Meet Luna. And this one has a 360 degree voice pickup too, but it does it with a three microphone array, which is a different technology. This just uses one mic to pick up everything. This uses three different microphones. It also has microphone noise reduction, and it also has that Bluetooth connectivity, but in addition to more buttons along the front, which gives you more functionality, it also has a bunch of ports on the back, which give you the ability for you to connect this via Bluetooth or USB or AUX, and it even has a built-in 2.4 gigahertz dongle, so you can put this onto an older PC, for example, often the kind that you find in conference rooms, and you can use it wirelessly without any hassles with Bluetooth or security or anything. Really nice. It also has the ability to answer and end calls right here on the button set, which is something that the InnoTrick does not have. Is that a big deal? Probably not, but it's handy to have it. The bigger trick that this has is you can get two of these and their custom cable and you can daisy chain them. So if you have a larger conference space, you could have one of these at each end of your conference table and they will work together connecting to a single source and you will get much better pickup and it's a much better experience. So obviously a little bit more of an investment because you'll have to have two of these and that cable, but it's a nice feature. Eight to 10 hours battery life, so same. Both of these have about the same battery life and interestingly, they both have almost exactly the same dimensions. This is also 4.7 by 4.7 inches by 1.4 inch, slightly thinner, 10.2 ounces, slightly heavier. Now, let's give it a couple of tests here. First off, let's try that music again. And it definitely gets louder, and it definitely does a better job with the sound reproduction. Now, how often are you going to be listening to music while you're on a speaker call? Or, of course, Zoom or Skype or Microsoft Teams or BlueJeans. All those other technologies and systems we're using now for video and audio, these can be the audio component and give you much better experience. And to people on the other end, a better experience. But this does a better job. This is something where you could just play music on it and that would be a nice use. That would be something where you're in the conference room, everyone's having lunch, you have some music on quietly. That sounds pretty nice. But then we get back to that same question of, all right, well, let's try that voice thing. So let's try again. And this time you're hearing the voice, my voice being picked up by the e -Meet Luna and it's about the same distance. So that should be very comparable. And now we're ready for that factory background noise. You ready? And now I'm talking over that factory noise and you can hear how well it does getting rid of that background sound. So you can continue on your call even in a noisy environment. And that's really important. So let me stop the recording. And again, I'm back to this. You can hear the factory noise continues. I didn't turn it on or off. There's no tricks here. And I think the Emi just does a little bit better job all around. The InnoTrick is really nice. I think that the design of it with the built-in cable can be a big win for some people. But this Emi Luna is kind of the one to beat here. Now, I will say that when you buy it, it the you need to know what else it comes with. So. The e -Meet Luna includes an AUX cable, the handy way to connect it, a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, which is important, and some paperwork. What it doesn't come with is it doesn't come with a carrying case, which is important because the InnoTrick does come with this simple but useful little carrying case. But that's all it comes with. It comes with that and some paperwork, but no cables, no plugs, no adapters because the cable's built in. So that makes it pretty easy, right? So 
This is the InnoTrick Studio. This is the eMeet Luna. And I have to say, between the two of them, I think I lean more towards the Luna. Now, I did a review of the Luna versus the AirHug Zero One and also found the Luna superior to that. You can check out that other review if you want. But we do need to talk about the price, and that's important and kind of complicated. But before we get to the price, I'm going to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Click or tap on subscribe and the bell notification, please, and we're connected. And if you found this valuable, useful, and interesting, go ahead and give me a like. I hugely appreciate that. And if there was something you wish I would have demoed or tested and I didn't, then go ahead and tell me in the comments. I also appreciate that. Cool. Now. This, let's start with this one. This is the InnoTrick Studio, and it's $129.99, discounted down to $67.99, with a 10% coupon right now on Amazon, dropping it down to $61.19 at Amazon.com. $61.19 at Amazon.com. By comparison, this is the eMeet Luna, and it's $119.99, discounted down to $59.94 at Amazon.com. So between the two of these, this one's not only more functional and not only a little bit better, I think, but it's also slightly less expensive. So it is not often that that happens, but that works out pretty nicely. Both of them are good choices. If I had to choose just one, I think I would lean towards the eMeet Luna. You've heard the demos, you've seen all the specs, so you can make up your own mind. That's all I got. I'll hope to catch you in my next video.